Alright, we're back badge. up. Thanks for sticking with us. standing here like a bunch of fucking gangsters. Hey, you know, a group right, of the boys. largest gang in America. Yep. And you know what I said, the largest gang in America? Fuck everybody's, you! Everybody's pretty much moved. Kill me! You arrest my friends, steal our shit, fucking kill me! Yeah, they are too pussy to do that. They gotta make sure that they have an excuse, not just somebody asking for it. Please, please, kill me! Well, they're killing everybody else around the world. Oh, wait, you are killing me! I'm dying out here! So it looks like the police are packing it That's up. That's just fucking uh, piece of move. shit, motherfuckers! When was the last time you actually gave a homeless person something to eat? Or a pair of shoes? Or a pair of socks? Or a pair of socks? When was the last time you didn't feed on a homeless person? None of them speak. Well, I guarantee you it to. wasn't today! So it looks like the police are leaving. Go fuck off and die, motherfuckers! Die! No, they're blocking the street. They're blocking the street. Whoops. <laughs> Been. Looks like you got it on something st sticky or something, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's just ripped. You guys must have tied it too tight. Yeah. Uh, 24. 18, 19, <laughs> those are numbers, 24 and 19. Then we got Sergeant Sedenko out here. That's not his real name, of course. See those trucks? That's the trucks. Uh, that's Mike Lee's stuff that's leaving on that truck. Uh, please come down here. They basically just take your stuff. Go, go, go! Without warning. See, I uh, don't want to be, uh, right, once again, police are on the wrong side of history. A retard, retard, illiterate. Hey, retard, you fucking naughty ass pig. You are fucking illiterate. You fucking naughty, you naughty ass pig. Let it pick! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Bye bye, Piggy Wiggy! Well, there you have it, folks. Ray on the homeless here. So they've left a few officers. Uh, the tape has been taken down, so we're free to move now. Uh, we do have another site where we're going to be heading to as soon as we take stock of everything here. It's not over by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we have a militant, well-organized group of people. And we're not scared of the police, as you can see. Uh, so we will be doing in more encampments. So this was the site uh, where uh, they came this morning.
Mas vê, não dá pra trabalhar, ok? Já, no confrontation. No confrontation da polícia. Ah, oh, mano. It's all good. And here's a group of other people. Yeah, I'm not too good at moving around, so. The officers, you're loitering. You're not allowed to do that. You've got to move along now. Blocking the sidewalk. Yeah, you're blocking the sidewalk. Obstruction, obstruction. 148. Anyway, thanks to those who are watching. Uh, no, um, Ruby, uh, what they do is they take all your stuff away. They say they're giving it back. Um, when you're trying to get your stuff back, you call up a number. Oh, uh, I don't know anything about it. Why don't you try this number? Uh, basically, it's the bureaucratic bullshit. Uh, that stuff is gone, and it most likely will end up at the, at the Berkeley dump. Bottom line. Well, that's asking your question. Hope that answers your question, sorry. <coughs> and they told us we can't go back to that specific site, which of course is bullshit. Uh, because as soon as they leave, we'll be back. It's a little chilly out here this morning, folks. It's about 50 degrees, uh, which is cold enough for somebody to die of hypothermia if they lose their gear. So when the Berkeley police come and take people's belongings, they're actually uh, could be considered to be, uh, I don't want to get too harsh with it, but yeah, it could be death for some of these folks when they lose their tents and their sleeping bags. Uh, this is a very serious matter. But basically, it's called theft under color of law. Yeah, you'll have to forgive me, folks. I haven't had my cup of coffee, coffee this morning. Or have been able to use the bathroom yet. It was a good thing that I had most of my gear already packed and ready to go. It always pays to be prepared. But this is just another shot in the salvo of our war against the city of Berkeley uh, because they should be providing services for homeless instead of running them off. I hear you. I gotta use the can.
Taking picture, take this. Now he's gonna put it in his spank bank. Don't spank it too hard, man. Anyway, he's creeping off. He's over there. The gentleman in the middle of your pictures is a cop out here taking pictures of people. Anyway, this is what police do here in Berkeley, and you, excuse me, and you thought it was a liberal place. And you thought California was all liberal. Well, now you're seeing it firsthand, the fascism of the city of Berkeley, and it just proves that the city of Berkeley doesn't want to do anything to help to get the homeless off the streets. The only thing that they want to do is play this phony ass bullshit shell game where they move people around, move people around without actually providing any solutions. And they're willing to spend up to thirty thousand or more, thirty thousand dollars or more doing this continuously. And this is how the city of Berkeley chooses to spend their money. Well, it's a sad commentary on the state of the United States when this thing happens. Okay, and uh, we're going to check chat one last time, and then I'm going to finalize it because I need to take stock of my own possessions, what little I did have out here, and uh, pack my shit up, so to speak. I was able to personally get my stuff off, so I did not lose anything personally. But, you know, I'm out here and I'm kind of always expecting the police to come. And damn it if they didn't get a jump on me again this morning. <laughs> right? They come. They came at 4 instead of 5. Uh, usually, the reason why they do this is because you have the night shift that's getting off and the morning shift that's getting on, and that's the way they can muster enough police officers without actually having to call mutual aid. And for now, they might have cleared everything out, but we're going to continue to fight. Um, and if you would like more information, I think I forgot to mention that, uh, we have a Facebook page up. It's called First They Came for the Homeless, and that's on First uh, Facebook. Again, First They Came for the Homeless, and that's our Facebook page. So if you would like more information, if you'd like to make a donation of money, sleeping bags, tents, food, any other kind of item uh, which we could use out here, um, you can go to that page and receive more information. Uh, one person was arrested uh, because he didn't move fast enough. His name is Mike Michael Zint, Z-I-N-T. He was one of the lead organizers out here and uh, he was being arrested and taken away. And there you have it. So this is live from the city of Berkeley. This is your free man, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, signing off. Much love to you and much love to everybody out there. Thank you for watching.